There are new rules for businesses and you need to take action now. In this section, I'm going to cover UK and EU reach chemical regulations that are now in effect. The UK and EU now have new regulatory regimes on the registration, evaluation, authorization and restriction of chemicals, also known as REACH. Under UK REACH, manufacturers and importers have a duty to register chemicals that access the Great British market. GB-based manufacturers and distributors currently registered with EU REACH can no longer sell into the European Economic Area market, also known as the EEA market, without transferring their registrations to an EU or EEA-based legal entity. If you are making, selling or distributing chemicals in the UK <coughs> and the EU, you now need to take steps to ensure regulatory requirements are fulfilled on both sides of the channel in order to maintain continuity of supply chains. If you are procuring chemicals directly from the EU or EEA suppliers, you may be changing from a downstream user to an importer under UK REACH. You can find more information about the changes by using the QR code on the screen or by searching how to comply with REACH chemical regulations on gov.uk. There is also more detailed guidance available on the HSC website. You can use the QR code to access this information. If your business imports chemicals from the EU EEA, there are a few things you will need to do. Firstly, identify the chemicals you sell or use and the regulatory responsibilities with respect to that chemical in the GB market. You should also check contingency plans across your supply chain to understand what information you may need to provide to maintain GB and EU market access. If you do not hold an EU rich registration, you must ensure that the chemicals you import are covered by a valid UK REACH registration. You must notify the Health and Safety Executive, also known as the HSE, using a downstream user import notification, which declares your intention to continue importing chemicals from the EU EEA. This must be done by the 27th of October 2021. Alternatively, you may wish to encourage your EU EEA suppliers to appoint a GB-based only representative or change their source to a GB-based supplier. Finally, you should consider appropriate action if the status of existing EU REACH registrations or authorizations change. You can now use the REACH online service by searching for gov.uk comply with UK REACH. This service will allow you to validate existing UK held EU registrations, submit downstream user import notifications, submit new substance registrations and submit new product and process oriented research and development notifications. If your business manufactures or distributes chemicals for the EU EEA UK market, there are a few things you will need to do. Firstly, identify the chemicals you sell or use and the regulatory responsibilities with respect to that chemical in the GB and EU EEA or Northern Ireland market. You should also check contingency plans across your supply chain to understand what information you may need to provide to maintain GB and EU market access. You should obtain a valid GB registration to access the UK market. You will need to transfer your EU REACH registration to an EU27 stroke EEA legal entity now if your business is exporting to the EU EEA market. If you currently have a GB Health EU REACH registration, you should complete the grandfathering process by providing information to the HSE by the 30th of April 2021. Consider what you can do if the status of existing EU REACH registrations 
or authorizations change. And just to reiterate, you can now use the REACH online service by searching for gov.uk comply with UK REACH. I recommend your business does this and acts now so that you can successfully comply with the new regulations that are now in force. Please be advised that all existing GB held EU REACH registrations, authorizations and imported substances from the EU EEA continue to remain valid. This means that pre-existing GB based authorizations will be transferred to UK REACH automatically. It also means that under the Northern Ireland Protocol, pre-existing Northern Ireland based authorizations will remain valid under EU REACH. Once you have followed the steps we have discussed, your business may need to take the following actions. Take advantage of grandfathering provisions for existing GB held EU REACH registrations. For existing GB held EU REACH uh, registrants, you will have 120 days to provide the HSC with some initial information. The government has extended the deadline for downstream users of substances from EU based registrants by a further 120 days. This means that registrants now have 300 days in total to provide the HSC with some initial information under the downstream user import notification transitional provision. You can do this by providing initial information under the grandfathering provision on the registration to the Health and Safety Executive known as the HSC, which is the Agency for UK REACH by the 30th of April 2021. A new registration must then be submitted to the HSC within two, four or six years of the 28th of October 2021. These bans have been set to ensure that those chemicals manufactured or imported at high tonnage and those substances with particularly hazardous properties are registered first. You may want to check across your supply chain that someone is regulating all the chemicals that you are using. Please check with your suppliers that they are doing this within the appropriate timeline of two, four or six years from October 2021. If you have any queries or wish to receive occasional updates related to UK, contact reach-it at defra.gov.uk. We carefully listened to industry's concern about the previous timelines of applying data to the UK regulator and have extended the deadlines set in legislation from 180 to 300 days for UK importers of goods from the EU. This provides UK importers to use these first 120 days to establish how UK based suppliers have assumed registration obligations and whether they need to do so themselves. Despite this extension, registrants under UK REACH will still carry the same obligations to submit data to the UK regulator. Deadlines are dependent on tonnage bans and hazard profile with the highest tonnage and the most hazardous chemicals first. As previously stated, you will have two, four or six years beginning after 300 days for the full registration registrations to be completed. These deadlines are dependent on tonnage bands and hazard profile with the highest tonnage and most hazardous chemicals first. The table you can see provides details of how tonnage and the nature of the hazardous product affects the deadline for full registration. For example, carcinogenic, mutagenic or toxic included for reproduction, substances to human and animal life, as well as candidate list substances, will have a deadline of two years from the 28th of October 2021. Under the Northern Ireland Protocol, the process for Northern Ireland businesses moving goods to and from the European Union under EU REACH has not changed. This means that all existing NI-based EU REACH registrations will remain valid 
on Northern Ireland businesses can continue to trade with the EU EEA. This also means that GB-based EU REACH registrations are no longer valid in Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland-based exporters to GB can now take advantage of the Northern Ireland notification provision and provide information directly to the HSC. These changes will mean that GB-based users of a Northern Irish held EU REACH registration will need to provide the HSC with some initial information by the 27th of October 2021. It should encourage any Northern Ireland-based downstream users that you supply to take measures to retain EU EEA market access, for example, holding a valid EU REACH registration. The government has always been clear that we want industry to replicate joint registrations, as is currently the case in the EU. This is because joint registrations are a way of reducing costs to business and help remove the need for additional testing, especially on vertebrate animals. We have worked closely with industry stakeholders to develop the UK process and supporting IT tools to reduce the regulatory burdens on business. Registrants will be placed in specific substance groups, which will allow them to start data sharing negotiations and assign a lead registrant. New rules are here. You need to take action now so that your business can comply with the new regulations. 